No, those don't you know? I paid sixty dollars for ninety nine seconds, bro. Okay, okay. So this is same medium punch doesn't look like it. We could V trigger cancel, right? We could we could also V trigger cancel this, which should be more advantageous. Oops, missed it. Let's restart the battle. Hmm. Can you just sweep? I mean, you could. Hmm. Whiff punishable by sweep? Hmm. This seems hard to aim. Timing this whiff punish is really difficult. <laughs> I see you, Zaku. I see you. Hey, man, sometimes sweep is good. It's the longest range low. Yeah, okay, so let's try some V-Trigger cancel stuff. Another thing another thing we want to want to take into account when we're trying to whiff punish this move. Another thing we want to take into account when we're trying to figure out how to whiff punish this move is this yellow box here. So, so you see this yellow box in front of bison right so he has his extended hurt box which is this green square then he has the hit box which will crush counter us that's this red one and then there's this yellow one in front of that right this if this overlaps with our character we will be forced to block right which means we cannot move we want to choose options that are good if we get stuck you know right so like if he throws this and we get forced to block we don't want to have to try we don't want to have to scoot left or right to hit our move so <laughs> hmm it might be that to, to whiff punish this we might need to be outside of this yellow box which is even further away i don't think it's like that for this move but it is like that for for a couple moves or commonly it is like that for moves where you, you do not want to be in the proximity block range um because that takes away your ability to move left and right and it, if you need to like slightly reposition yourself for something important you won't be able to do it so we want to worry worry about that um hmm. a another advanced thing to look at in the future to like formulate how we're going to deal with Psycho Axe is, would be looking at the other moves that complement Psycho Axe, right? So there's Psycho Axe, but Bison is also going to be doing other shit, right? Are we going to get into a situation where, like, he whiffs something, we get forced to block, and then the Psycho Axe starts to come out and we can't move because of the proximity block boxes? That's an, that's an entirely possible thing, right? Like, um... Have you ever gotten to a situation where, like, you play against, uh, hmm, let's see, let's see, yeah, Bison, Bison, or even, like, Alex, and they just do, like, Lariat, 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 or Psycho Axe, Psycho Axe, Psycho Axe, and you just can't, you just can't get away, right? That's because the proximity block is holding you in place. So, it is important to, to think about that, but that's, like, a little bit further out than where we are right now trying to figure out how to handle this move uh, hmm ah uh, that doesn't get you close enough so we need to choose something oh okay maybe this Maybe stand medium kick. No. Oh. Could also do fierce, maybe. Hmm. Fierce and then like a micro walk. That's very difficult. That's very difficult. Uh, 
I try to walk forward a little bit. Let me try it again. Ah, uh, nope. Oh, that's... Could Tatsu there. I think stand medium kick is the, the choice here. Because he, he's left standing. Right? He's standing up. He's standing up. Medium kick will hit. We'll hit both of these these uh, hurt boxes. That's probably the choice. Stay away from Psych Wax. Go for Medium Kick. <coughs> Alright, excuse me. That's probably the choice right here. Um, so, I do not play as Bison EXDP. You're not wrong. Do not play as Bison, but let us let us try to find the other moves that will complement Psycho Axe. Let's think. At usually I see Bisons, they'll go for this. Or Skizzers. Right? At this distance. I've seen Stan medium kick. If he medium kicks, my medium kick will also work. Is this an overhead attack? Uh, no. This is a mid attack. So you can block this crouching. Um, let me get the... Let me put Ken on crouch. So here's crouching. Oops. So one thing you can do in Street Fighter V... Kind of like with the dummy... Is it your dummy settings will, will go to whatever character you've chosen if you put it on record, right? So, uh, this is an overhead. This is an overhead. This is an overhead. Uh, his jump attacks are overheads. But he does not have, he does not have a, a regular overhead. So from this Psycho Axe distance, a lot of Bison players, I've seen this sequence before. I've seen this before. I've seen whiff Psycho Axe into a media stay medium kick. My medium, my medium kick, even if I'm really super slow, will still deal with this. Um, I don't, I, I've seen this as well. I've seen stand fierce, but this fierce is punishable on block by sure you can, so. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this should be punishable with, with DP. Reversal. Yep. Oh, you have to be a little bit close. Yeah. You could use... Could you use Hurricane Kick? No, not that far. You could EX, right? No, actually. Hmm. You can super if you do it properly. So Bison's Psycho Axe, commonly followed by Standing Medium Kick or Standing Hard Punch. Uh, both of those I could deal with with a regular Stand Medium Kick. So I don't need to think of anything fancy depending on the distance. Um, Bison stand fierce is punishable if you block it deep. A lot of Bison players will cancel this into the fireball. They'll cancel it into his... This is a little bit besides the point. But they'll they'll cancel this into his fireball thing. Uh, when you block this, just do DP. Like, if you're close... Like, this is like a, a Ken thing. But if he does the true block string, nothing will happen. And if he does a fake block string, you'll punish him because this is minus six on block. So he has to cancel this into something. And if you uppercut properly, you'll go through this fireball. This is like a, a similar thing with Nash. Like Nash will do stand fierce fireball. You can just input DP and whatever the situation is, um, it comes out good for you. A little bit besides the point. 
So stand medium kick deals with Psycho Axe. If he follows it up with medium kick or hard punch, they're both slow enough to where I can easily interrupt it. And I get to convert into V trigger easily off of off of stand stand MK. Uh, it's forward advancing, so even if we're far away, I'll come up to meet him. I think that's the tech. I think stand medium kick is important. However, this is this is something. Bison has a slide. He has that advancing sweep, right? And sometimes Bison players just be doing fucking slide. So if I'm looking for my standing medium kick, I, that makes me vulnerable to slide. I, I might want to choose a crouching answer. Um... I don't think there are any really decent ones, though. So, I mean, the sweep is a crouching answer, right? If he whiffs Psycho Axe, sweep is a, crouch, is a, is a decent crouching answer. Let's go back. Hmm. I want to be standing to stay close enough to connect my my uh, hard kick, my my target combo too. So the the reason I want to be standing here is uh, pay attention to Ken's hurt box, right? That green the green boxes surrounding Ken. Look at how wide they are, right? When you crouch, it gets slightly wider, right? Look at the uh, the CA bar at the bottom. You see that blue, the second blue bar? You see where on the, the left, so the way Ken is facing, you see how it's it's not just a little bit over the middle. But when I crouch down, it goes almost all the way to the end of that gauge, right? You get significantly wider when you crouch. So I'm over here saying, huh, how can I deal with Psycho Wax, right? Well, if I stand up, I can be a little bit closer because I'm not so wide. And I can make it miss if I'm closer, which lets me get this target combo as a whiff punish. And this move is a decent whiff punish for Psycho Axe because of the, the shape of it, right? <laughs> you get some girth, bro. You get, get that thick. <laughs> get the blood flowing. What? Anyway. So I'm thinking I want to be I want to be standing, right? But that's not just the whole picture. When you're thinking about how to whiff punish a move, right? Remember, you want to choose something that's practical, effective and gets you into a good situation afterwards, right? It may not be optimal, but you want something that's consistent, practical and gets you into a really good situation. So we want to look for uh, the moves Bison has that complement Psycho Axe because Bison players are not just going to do only Psycho Axe. They're going to do other Bison player shit, right? And if we're standing, that leaves us vulnerable to surprise slide. And I don't know about you, but at the distance Psycho Axe will whiff on standing... Right, which should be right here. Let me save it. I believe Psycho Axe will whip. This is a test. Oh my god, he slid me? Fucking bison players. Bison bots, bro. Okay. That's number one. Let's make number two slide. So we, we want to look at the moves that complement Psycho Axe. Right? What is he playing around? Right. Okay, Psycho Axe is whiffing. That whiffs on my standing, right? Oops. Let me, uh... Move right... Here, I think is... I think it will touch me? Let's find out. Yes. Okay. So we still gotta learn this... The exact range of this. This is definitely... Right here? Why Bison Lab? Uh, I hit random character select and it came out with bison. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. I also kind of want to... I also want to showcase, like... How you want to look for options against things. Um... Okay, so this is this is fine. This is a realistic distance, right? So at this distance, Psycho Axe will whiff, right? And I'll be able to get my standing medium kick as a whiff punish. Am I able to react to surprise slide here? I don't know. I don't know if this is a practical reaction. It seems it seems pretty pretty doable. Let me record one of him just doing nothing. We'll record him just doing nothing for a second. And then we'll mix it up. We'll we'll mix it up. Just trying to react to the slide. That's all I'm trying to do is react to the slide. Peace on. Oh my god. See, I don't know. I don't know if this is practical, especially if you're looking for other shit, right? So anyway, the reason I bring this up is because we want to we may want to choose a crouching option here to deal with other moves that also complement Psycho Axe cuz we're not just going to be able to like know when it's coming, right? No. So we may want to choose a crouching option that deals with Psycho Axe well. However, if we're crouching, we get wider. We get way wider. Which means that we must be further away. Now let's let's think about this. If we're further away, we can definitely react to slide. Right? And we could react to scissors, maybe. Choose from three options, jump forward, slide, or whiff a normal. Oh, yeah. <coughs> record neutral jump on all of them, and then... So you record the neutral jump, so you know when the move is coming. And then you uh, you want to do different things, and make sure that you turn this off, so you can't tell. So if I leave this... If I turn this on, you'll be able to see which one it is, right? So now it's playing number three, right? You want, you want that off. Yeah. Um... And usually when you record the dummy, you want to have them neutral jump first. So you can you can see when the move is coming. If you're trying to react to something, that's definitely what you want to do. You want to record a couple different options that all start out in the same way. So you can't tell the difference and then just try to actually react. So... Huh. At this distance, Bison is more likely to do head stomp, dash, or scissor kicks. Hmm. Yeah, you don't really need them to neutral jump. You just kind of want to... The neutral jump will just help you, help you time stuff. Like if you're trying to whiff punish something or counter poke something. Uh, actually, let me clarify this real quick. Uh, because I've been talking about this whole time, but I never really, I never really went into super, super duper detail about it. So in the neutral game, right? In the neutral game, you're trying to get an advantage on your opponent, right? Neither of you have an advantage. You're trying to get an advantage, right? That's a positional advantage, um, you know, frame advantage. You, you want to touch them, right? You're trying to get into an advantageous situation. Now, in neutral, there's a subset of actions, right? So there's, 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 there's neutral, there's neutral, and inside neutral, there's a subset of actions categorized as footsies, right? Now, footsies is specifically manipulating space to hit your opponent's whiffed moves, right? or to interrupt them when they attempt to hit a move or to put yourself in position to hit a move footsies always involves someone 
setting up for an attack in a specific way. And there's three types of attacks you can employ in footsies. There's three types of attacks. There's the poke, right? So a poke, you, you poke them, right? This is a poke. The important part for this, this lab session is that pokes go first. When you poke, you take the initiative. You are the one that goes first, right? Then there's a counter poke, right? A counter poke is something designed to interrupt. You want to go at the same time, right? So poke and counter poke can a little bit overlap based on like your timing. So you could intend to do a poke and it could come out, come out as a counter poke, right? But a counter poke is that you want to interrupt, right? You want to interrupt their poke. Right, so you want to go, you either want to go second or at the same time, right? So there are some moves that are not very good pokes because they may be minus or they might have weird looking hurt, hurt hitbox combinations that aren't, you know, very useful for initiating, but they can be good counter moves like, like crush counters, right? Like this move, this move this move these are good counter pokes those are for going at the same time or second and a whiff punish means you go last right that's the third type of action you can take uh in in footsies to it is a whiff punish which is which is last right um so i'm, I'm talking about pokes counter pokes and whiff punish but th that's those are what they are right um it's significant i should upload this to youtube I, I want to make like a very I'm well I upload all the stream archives to YouTube so this is definitely going to be up there um but uh I'm planning see all right this is where I get myself in the hot water right because I'm like look I'm trying to make these these fancy videos but then like I don't be making no videos, man. Like, I'm like, yo, all right, I'm going to sit down today and I'm going to write the script and I'm writing and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to record it. I'm, I'm getting footage and then I get it into my editing software and I'm just sitting there like, this is not good enough. Do it again. <laughs> so I've been trying to make the, trying to make all these videos for forever. But anyway, to just to, to just to resummarize that, um, a poke, that's, that's too much work for not enough return on investment. Hmm. I want still still as an aside still on this I, I want to make content educational content for Street Fighter about real fundamental skills right and a lot of people when they talk about the fundamental skills that they, they they just talk about understanding the game's mechanics and that is incredibly important, but they don't actually talk about what those skills are like made up of, made up with how you employ them and how you can practice them practically, right? So like, I wanna, I want to produce content that's like, I don't know, an encyclopedia or like a textbook, like very scientific, very well defined, straight up. This is the deal. You know what I mean? And if it's a YouTube video, it's there for forever. And really, I want to make these things just because I wish I had these things when I fell in love with fighting games. You know what I mean? Uh, especially the main thing for me is how do you practice these? You know what I mean? How do you... Oh, like with acting and everything like that? No, nah, I want... I'm, I'm... The videos... My content style is the exact opposite of my streaming style. When I stream, I'm just like, oh, well, we could talk about this and then this direction and that direction. When I make a video, it's just like, this is the thing. This is the thing. I didn't waste any of your time. Bye. You know, like, <laughs> I'm very, very straight to the point. Kind of bare bones, you know. But still, still visually interesting. I have like 70% of a video on reads and conditioning finish that I need to get I need to get done. P 
people's attention span on YouTube is hamster level. I think when's Marvel? Yo, see the legal team, Slash. See the legal team. But I think for a lot of fighting game content, it's kind of like this, where it's just like stream cuts and it's a little bit waffly, kind of out there. It's not very exacting, you know? <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, all right. So just, just to recap on what I was saying, to, and I'm not going to go too deep into this, but in neutral, there's a subset of actions under footsies. Right, so there's other shit you can do in neutral that's not footsies. Footsies is a very specific subset of actions, right? In Street Fighter, because everyone is generally pretty bolted to the ground, footsies is gonna be the main thing you do in neutral, but there's way more shit in neutral you can do, right? So like, for example, if you play another 2D fighter like Marvel, right, Marvel has footsies, but it's much less emphasized because there's other shit you can do in neutral right and it in, in footsies right it's all it's all about positioning for your attacks relative to the opponent's attacks right unless you play urian yeah well actually 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 there are a lot of characters that don't necessarily engage in footsies when i play right and when i play ken i love fireball right that's not necessarily super footsies, right? Because over here, what I want to do is chip the opponent down, take away their ability to advance forward, and see if they're going to jump, right? I want to try to bait them into jumping by placing my fireball properly, giving them like a predictable pattern, right? And then cutting that pattern short in anticipation that they'll jump. So I'll do something like fireball, 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 fireball fireball nothing right and I'll, I'll be like okay you might expect that second fireball but i'm cut you off right that's not really me getting into position to get advantage based on where his attacks can be out right so that they're like that zoning zoning is not necessarily footsies like footsies is specifically getting into an advantageous position based around either character's attacks right so if i want to get into position to do this that could be footsies or if i think bison is going to cycle axe and i move back to whiff punish him that's footsies. or if i think bison will stay in medium kick and i do this to interrupt as he comes out that's footsies right but over here over here doing this not necessarily so much footsies a lot of characters have that it's just very footsies is super common in street fighter 5 because of the design right but in other 2d games you play neutral with not necessarily an emphasis on footsies <coughs> so there's three three actions you can take right you can take the poke which is you go first, you try to get advantage by touching them, you're going first, you're taking the initiative. You can counter poke, which means you're going at the same time or second, intentionally to interrupt them with something, right? So like you could swing a crush counter, like right here. If I swung this right here, it's not gonna touch him, but it would be a sick counter poke if it crush countered him and then I got to run off of it, right? So I, I would need to anticipate Bison doing something. And then, Finally, there's the whiff punish, which is where you go last, where you wait and you react or you anticipate and then you react, but you go last. So the, the three three actions here depend on when you're going to take the initiative, right? Poking is first. Counter poking is uh, at the same time or second. And whiff punishing is third. They can overlap a little bit and you can get some things like you could have a counter poke end up as a whiff punish if you mess it up right or you could have a poke end up as a counter poke if you slightly mistime it there so it's not exactly like they're distinctly separate but they're general it's like a gradient you know what i'm saying so I, anyway i was talking about those a lot and i figured i would just explain what i meant with those so anyway we're talking about psycho axe and if psycho axe will whiff when i'm standing that leaves me in a threatening position for the slide 
So even though I have a really nice whiff punish opportunity here with standing medium kick, hard kick, I may want to choose something crouching just to make my mental stack a little bit lighter, right? Because I'm worried about like, okay, I need to stand up specifically for the distance of Psycho Axe and I need to react to crouch and I need to identify what other movement patterns he's having and I need to know you know what attacks he is looking at his resources the time that's a lot to consider so you want to try to simplify that as much as possible so if we're trying to deal with cycle acts we can be standing but it might be that if we feel slide is a potent enough threat like especially when he has full v-bar slide is a really enticing option for bison we're gonna want to try to deal with cycle acts crouching right and uh, if I remember correctly where we were at, we found that crouching, we need to be further away because it makes our hitbox way wider, right? It makes it way wide. Um, so the question then becomes, all right, if, if Psychoax is going to whiff on us crouching, we need to be like all the way out here. Is he even going to Psychoax right here? Is he even going to Psychoax right here? Maybe? maybe not right depends on the player so i mean right here we have opportunity as ken specifically to maybe fireball right that's kind of hard to grab right you could throw this throw the slow one throw ex <laughs> they just like well if you play online people just fucking eat glue for sure but i mean against like a real bison player they might choose to move here right and here we can we can comfortably react to slide so just hypothetical you know thinking it thinking about it like so it's probably we're probably fine standing for psycho wax at this distance right because well it, he'll be encouraged to, to do it it's one of his better options at this distance and if we're really spicy we could probably still react to the slide ideally we don't want to have to think about it but it seems to be just one of the the nuances of this matchup that you got to be ready for that um another complementary option is that we could still always neutral jump cycle axe right neutral jumping cycle axe not a bad option it also would deal with slide right so say we could be standing here for cycle axe the whiff and if he's not doing it we can neutral jump now we challenge his reaction increase his mental stack so he goes oh i need to i can jump forward and do hell attack on that or when he lands on the ground i can try and uh punish him with uh taking a better like taking a better position i could do scissors maybe i could sweep the landing or something like that right so th this is generally not super dangerous until until b zone starts catching on but if he just tries to preemptively jump well we get a free anti-air right and guess what we're thinking about standing medium kick standing medium kicks an anti-air right so th these things feed into each other pretty well so it would seem to me bison matchup has a lot to do with this this move in particular for ken i think that's a reasonable option I learned some shit. I learned some shit about B-Zone.